Hi, I'm Heba, and I'm going to take you through a level three mat Pilates session today. So we're going to start standing, and we're going to loosen up the neck and shoulder area to start with. So that's our main focus of mobility in the standing warm-up. You're going to start by taking the arms out to the side, stand as tall as you can, and you're going to gently glide your ribs over to one side, come back to center, glide your ribs over to the other side, come back center. So remember, with, when you're doing these ones, it's not the arms that are moving, but the rib cage is what I'd like you to feel is shifting. So imagine someone's pulling you from your arm one way and then pulling you from the arm the other way. Standing as tall as you can as you do. Glide, center, glide, center, and relax. Now we're going to breathe in, lift the chest up and forward. Breathe out, cave back like someone's pushed you from the sternum backward. Inhale, imagine someone's pulled you upward. Exhale, we go back and round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back. It's the upper back you're trying to feel like you're moving. Your chest goes forward and then chest caves back. Try and relax your shoulders here and don't let them roll forward too much. So we're going to put the dots together and we're going to do thoracic circles. So we're going to go to the side, back, side, up, side, back, side, up. This one, keep breaking it down if it's confusing you. And imagine the ribs are drawing a circle on top of your pelvis. Change direction. We go to the side, to the back, to the side, lift. The pelvis should remain really still. It's only the upper body that's moving. The ribs are driving this movement round, up, side, round, up, side, and relax. Good. Roll your shoulders back, draw big circles. And notice that if you bend your elbows, the, the movement feels very different. So try and let the arms hang straight. Change direction, roll forward. And take the arms out 45 degree, make small fists or soft fists and start to roll your shoulder joints in and out. So you're moving your arm bones and you may get a few clicks and pops on this one. Roll in, out, in, out. Now we're going to put a little bit of tension on our nerves by extending the hands, spreading the fingers, and you roll outward and inward, out and in. If you're feeling too much nerve tension, just soften your fingers a little bit. We're going to keep going round to the sides of the body and a little further back. Keeping the length, trying not to pop the rib cage up. Let's come back to the front again. Roll out, in, out, in, out, and center. Now we're going to come up onto the toes, circle round. Lift, circle. Inhale, exhale. Think of most of the weight on the big toe side of your foot as you're coming up. Makes it a lot easier to balance and change direction. Go around the opposite way and over. Around, over. Think of your core now and your alignment and relax. Side bend over, drop forward for half a circle to the opposite side and up. So you're just doing your lumbar circles. Again, relaxing the neck and shoulders as you go around. Really let them hang heavy. And last time. And relax. Good. Okay, so let's go to the legs now. We're going to circle the knees around. If you keep your feet grounded on the floor, and imagine your knees are drawing a half circle and then they're locking at the back. Around, stretch. Round, stretch. Half circle, stretch. Try and keep your pelvis pointing forward still, your hip bones, so the movement is coming only from your leg bones, your femurs. Change direction, go around the opposite way, lock your knees. Round, 
stretch and stretch. And there's a difference between locking back and snapping into the knees and stretching the legs fully with control. So you've got your full range at the joint. One more time. And relax. Standing tall now, we take one leg behind, circle the ankle round. It feels quite strange to move the foot or, or some of our joints behind the body. You'll find sometimes that you don't have as much control as you would when your leg is in front. Change direction. And it's such a simple change, but it's quite challenging having the leg behind and still doing a smooth ankle circle. And then change. Circle back. Try and lengthen through the front of the body. Try and bring your complete mental awareness to your ankle joint. And feel how it feels when, it beh when it's behind you. Change direction, circle. And relax. Good. Let's stand at the back of the mat now. We're going to roll down into an all fours position. So standing tall, roll down one vertebra at a time through the spine, bend the knees, and walk out to an all fours position. You want your knees directly underneath your hips, your wrists underneath your shoulders. Start to do small circles with your pelvis. This can feel really, really challenging when you're doing it in isolation. So make the pelvic circle as small as possible. So it's not a big waist movement, it's tiny. Change direction. And then we're gonna do it in plank, loaded. Stretch your legs in plank. Try and free your pelvis. Often in plank we, we get so much tension in this position. And see if you can circle the pelvis without bothering your lower back. Because if it is just the pelvis, then your lower back can stay somewhat neutral throughout the plank position. Change direction. It helps if you think of the lower portion of the pelvis moving rather than the top. And it helps also if you bend your knees a little if you're struggling. I prefer to have them straight. Then hold, and we're gonna sink the breastbone lift the breastbone. So you're now mobilizing your shoulder blades under, joint, under load. So you sink the breastbone, lift the breastbone, everything else remains really, really stable. Keep your alignment. The neck often will drop here. Think of a drink sitting on the back of your neck. The arms don't bend at all. Two more. And relax. Brief shell stretch. Just relaxing the lower back and more importantly the wrists. Take some breaths into the back of the ribs here. And relax. Rolling up. We're going to swing the legs around to the front now. And you're going to sit right at the front end of the mat with your legs straight. And we're going to start with around the world. So we're going to lean over to one side, roll down the left side of your spine. I'm doing the same side as you. Take the arms up and over and roll up the right side of your spine and re-lengthen. Tilt to the right, roll down the right side of your spine. Take the arms up and over, roll up the left side of your spine and re-lengthen till roll down the left, one vertebra at a time, up and over, roll up the right, and again till roll down the right side. You should really feel the side of your spine till roll up the left, one more time on each side, back and over, roll up the right, and last one till. You should feel your core and your obliques working. Round, all the way back up again. 
and we're gonna roll down through the center, keep the arms lifted, stretch your leg up. Circle round now, one leg circle, and having the arms up will just challenge your core stability a little bit more. To make this a little bit more advanced, we're gonna try draw a figure eight, a horizontal eight with the leg. and change direction. And you try to stabilize. If you find that the arms reaching up is too challenging, your pelvis is dancing around all over the place, you're going to hold the hip bones with your hands to bring more awareness to them. Change legs, and we're gonna go straight into the horizontal eights. Or imagine you're drawing a ribbon. And just notice is that choppy or smooth? And if it's choppy, slow it down to make it smooth. Change direction. Circle. So whatever the leg is doing, you can stay really stable in your core and pelvis. And relax. Hug your knees in, give your legs a little bit of a break. Okay, so we're gonna reach the legs up to tabletop and we're gonna reach the arms forward. We're gonna do a slow roll up with the legs lifted. So nod, roll the legs up, lift your breastbone and then roll back down again. One vertebra at a time, take the arms overhead. And again, roll up, squeezing the legs together really helps here. Roll down through the spine, arms back. Exhale, nod. Roll up, lift, roll back down again, lower. One more time, rolling up, roll back down again. Hands go behind the leg ahead and we go straight into a fast one leg stretch. Breathing out as you reach the leg away, breathing in as you bend. And into crisscross twist. Drive the rib cage round. And from here we go straight into our straight leg roll up. So it's more like a teaser now. You're gonna roll up, keep the legs exactly where they are and roll down. Do you feel free to take a break before you start this? But I'm trying to challenge your endurance of your core to keep going. Roll up, keep the legs reaching. Lift, roll down. It starts to get more challenging. Roll up, hold. And we try and do circles here. Go up and round together, lift. Three circles in each direction. Trying to keep your pelvis and lower back really stable. Change direction, down, up, round. Bring it down, two. Bring it down, three. And roll down and relax. Our last one in the series, double leg stretch and scissors. So curl up with your head and shoulders, breathe out, reach away, inhale, circle. Breathe out, circle. If your neck and shoulders feeling a little tense, just keep your head and shoulders down. Keep the abdominal connection so your back doesn't arch. Last one. Lift the legs up and slice the legs apart for scissors. One, and change. Two, change. Keeping the shoulders down. And your abdominals gently pulled in. One more on each side. And relax. Stretch your arms and stretch your legs and just allow the back to arch a little. Allow the feet to relax. Take a few breaths here. Just recovering. And then we're gonna grab the back of the thigh, swing yourself up to a seated position. So, 
sitting as tall as you can. We're going to do a mobilization that's quite a good one to do if you have an office job, to do at the desk when you're feeling tense in your neck and your shoulders. So you're going to cross your arms over your chest, lengthen as tall as you can, and drive the ribs around one way. Come back center, drive the ribs around the other way. So this is going to feel like hardly any movement to start with. But I'd like you to turn your neck opposite to where the ribs are going. So if the ribs go one way, your neck goes the opposite. Then center. Ribs go one way, the neck goes the opposite. The head, really. This is going to really free up your spine at the desk. And as you do it, try and mobilize, try and lengthen the spine as much as you can to get the most out of this exercise. Let's go one more on each side. And relax. We're going to stretch the legs. We'll do the same exercise, spine twist, but it's a little bit more loaded. So try and lengthen out of this discomfort. So most of us are going to be feeling a little bit of grip here, unless you're extremely supple. And if it's really bothering you, you can bend the knees into a diamond shape or sit on a pillow or something. But if you're able to, try and keep your feet flexed, the arms out to the side, lengthen as tall as you can, and you're going to twist to the right, come back center, Twist to the left, come back center. And you're only twisting from the waist up. So your legs and your pelvis aren't moving at all. Twist, center, twist, center, spiraling up. We go to the right for three reaches. We go one, a little further, two, a little further, three. Inhale, center, twist to the left, one, further, two. Further, three. If one leg shortens compared to the other, you know you've twisted too much. Two, three, and center. Twist to left, one, two, three. Center, right, one, two, three. Center, one more, one, two, three. Center, again, one, two, three. Center, last one, one, two, three. Lengthen and relax. Well done. So you're, where you should have felt that is your mid-back. Should feel really mobile now, around about where the bra strap is if you're a female. So we're going to send the legs over to the side now. And we're going to do some side bends, full advanced versions. So take your back leg forward, plant it, and put all your weight on that front foot. So if I'm mirroring you and you're doing the same size, your right foot will take a lot of the weight. Your hand should be spread flat with your middle finger pointing to the opposite wall, to the side. So it takes a while to get the distance right, but play around with lifting, pushing the hips forward and taking the head and ribs back. And then as you inhale, you come back down again. Exhale, we go straight back up, squeezing the inner thighs together. Inhale to return. So let's try a more advanced version because you should have done this at level two. You're going to exhale, go up and over, and then lift the hips, curving the back, rounding the spine. Then you go back down again, open the chest, open the ribs, come back to the side again, lifting into your arc even more, and then slowly come back down. So we exhale, go up and over. Inhale, go round and down, lifting the bottom, shifting your weight to your feet. And then lift, open the chest, open the ribs. Come back to the side again. Slowly ease off into a sitting position. So you can keep it at this level. If you're used to this already and you want to try a real challenge, we're going to come up and over. And then as you go under, lift your leg behind you and circle under. Then as you come back up, place the foot down and up and open the chest. Go back to the side again and sit. One more time. Go up and over. Plant the foot, lift the leg, arc the spine under. Bring the leg back down again, open the chest. 
Come back to the side again and release. Swing the legs over to the other side. We'll do the same exercise on the other side. So again, back foot is forward, is planted. Middle finger is pointing that way. If you have any trouble with your wrists, it's absolutely fine to do this on your elbow. You won't have much room to be lifting into a pike, but just do it in more of a side plank position. So you're gonna breathe in, prepare. Exhale, go up and over into our side bend. Push the bottom forward and the head back. Inhale, return. Remember, it's like you're in a toaster and you don't wanna get burnt at the bottom or the head. And release to the next level. You stop at the level that suits you. So we're gonna go up and over as you exhale. Inhale, lift the bottom, go under. Exhale, arc the spine up and over. Back to the side again and slowly release. It feels very challenging on your non-dominant side. So I'm, I'm right-handed. So on this side, it feels like I need to move a little slower. So move at your pace that feels comfortable for you. We go up and over, lift the bottom, tuck under, open the spine and the ribs. Come back to the side and release. Have a go at lifting the leg. We're gonna go up and over to the side, lift the leg, arc under, place it back down again, open the spine. Come back to the side and release. You need a lot of shoulder stability for this and a lot of strength in the lats and back area. We go up and over, lift the leg high, bring it back down again, oops, open. Back to the side again and release. Well done. So we're gonna work a little bit into our back now. So you're gonna lie down on your front. And we're going to go from side to side to loosen up the lower back before we start these. Take the hands on the small of your back, squeeze your legs together, and we do the double leg kick. So you're going to kick three times. One, two, three. Stretch the legs and the arms and come up to a long line. Then turn your head the opposite way. One, two, three. Stretch and lift. Again, kick one. Two, three, stretch, lift, opening the shoulders. And one, two, three, stretch and lift. Now we add the leg opening. One, two, three, stretch, open, close. Again, one, two, three, stretch, open, close. One, two, three, stretch, open, close. Last one, one, two, Three, stretch the legs, open, close, and bring the arms forward. We're gonna lift the arms and the legs in a long line and start to swim. Trying to keep the back really, really stable. Kicking quite fast, but only as fast as you're stable in the back and your pelvis isn't dancing around. We're gonna beat the legs together and start doing breaststroke. Take a break whenever you need to. Keep beating the legs, see if you can coordinate arms and legs. Small beats of the legs. The arms are doing a slow, smooth motion. Inhale up, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, dive. Lift, dive, two more. And relax, push back to a shell stretch, rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a more integrated movement now. And towards the end of the session, I like to, to work the whole body. So um, this one, we're gonna be on all fours. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your left elbow to the floor and your right leg up to the ceiling as high as you can. And then you're gonna swirl that leg through, bring your left hand to your waist and sit. You lift your hips again, kick the leg higher, bring the elbow down. Swirl it through, sit. Bring the right leg up, left elbow down. 
Tuck the leg in, really turn it out, sit. Push down into the hand, lift as high as you can. Lean over to the side, all your weight's on that right arm to make it easier. And then swing it back up again. And you'll find your left knee is sliding further and further back, so just adjust it as needed. Let's try and go fast for 10. One, two, three. You're gonna feel this in your obliques, in your supporting arm, and in your glutes a little bit as well. Six, I think, seven, eight, nine, Ten. It's a real spiraled move. It's better without shoes. If you're wearing shoes, take them off definitely for this one. So we're going to go over to the other side. This time, right elbow goes down, left leg up. Right elbow down, left leg up. Bring your right hand to your waist, sit. Push down into your left hand, reach up. And again, two, three. Keep thinking each time you bring your right elbow down, left leg up, otherwise you'll get confused. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax and shell stretch. Okay, one more integrated one, then we're cooling down. So we're gonna do crouching beast position. The crouching beast is like a downward dog, but you've got your legs bent. So it's a nice shoulder stretch. You wanna sink into your chest, bend the knees. We're gonna dart forward onto an inhale to a plank. Exhale, push back to your loaded beast position. You go forward and back, forward, Back, let's go forward, bend, stretch, push back. Forward, bend, up, back. And you don't have to do a deep push up. These can be really small. Think of your shoulder stability, your alignment, all your usual stuff. And a modification for this one, if you're quite strong in general to do level three, but your upper body isn't that strong, you're gonna do child's pose, up, bend. So this is your modification. You still feel like you're working quite strongly in this one. So feel free to take it. I'm gonna go back to our advanced version. Three more. And relax. Back to your child's pose or shell stretch. Roll up, stretch your wrists the opposite way so you get a nice opening through the forearm. Good. And we're going to come up to standing to do a little bit of balance and cool down. So curl your toes. Stretch down, slow and roll up one vertebra at a time, all the way back up to standing. So we're going to try and, now you should feel really worked, your core should feel really connected, a little bit more centered and balanced unless you're exhausted. So let's do our balanced squat. You're going to come up onto the balls of the feet, lifting your arms forward, and then come back down again. And remember, whenever we're coming up onto the toes, you're going to think of most of your weight on the, on the big toe side of your foot. Makes it a lot easier. So we go up, bend the knees, staying really, really upright. Stretch your legs again, lower the heels. So we lift, bend the knees, stretch the legs, lower the heels. You need to Look at one point to make this easier. One spot, one target, lower. Lift, 
bend, lift. And it's so much easier to balance when you're very correctly aligned. If you've got the ribs not directly stacked on top of your pelvis, it feels quite a bit more challenging to find your center. Lift, bend, lift. Let's go try it all the way down. Lift, slowly come all the way down to a crouching position. And we're gonna come up in five steps. So we go up halfway one, and a little bit further two, a little bit further three, four, five, and release. See that one more time. Come all the way down to a crouch position. Only do this if your knees are okay for it. Hold on to a chair or a wall if you need to. Coming up one, pause. A little further two, further three, four, five, and release. Good, just shake your legs out a little. And breathe in, reach up to relax, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna do a little cool down routine now. Three goes round. You can have your legs wide, spread your hands, big jazz hands, and you're gonna breathe in, cross the arms over, and breathe out, open. Breathe in, and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, and breathe in, dive forward. Breathe in, breathe out, squat. Breathe in, lift, and breathe out, windmill, opposite arm to opposite leg. Inhale, exhale, change. Inhale, reach the arms up by the ears. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Lift and open. Slide the leg up. Balance. Stretch the leg, flex the foot. Stepping out to the side again. Slide. Flex the foot. Lengthen through the spine. Stepping out. Inhale, soft back bend. Dive forward as you exhale. Inhale, hold here. And exhale, slowly roll up. We'll do that two more rounds. This routine takes your spine through every possible direction and it's quite um, energizing. So you can do this first thing in the morning a few times around and you'll feel so energized when you go to work. Inhale, exhale. And the most important part of this is the breathing, that you synchronize your breath with your movement. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, dive forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale to lift and windmill. Lift up, reach over and reach the spine up, reach the arms up, side bend. Up, side bend. Open, oh, we forgot the twist on the one before. There is a twist at this stage. Center, twist, center. Slide the leg in, bend. Flex the foot, extend, tall spine. Stepping out again, inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch, flex the foot. Take it out to the side. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, stay. And exhale, roll up. One vertebra at a time. And again, breathe in. Out, last time round, inhale. Exhale, inhale to lift. Forward bend, lift, squat, inhale up, exhale windmill, lift again, windmill, reach the arms up by the ears, side bend over, inhale lift, exhale side bend, open, exhale twist, inhale center, exhale twist, and center, slide the leg in, bend, same arm, same leg, flex the foot, stepping out, inhale, bend, exhale, stretch, bend, step out, soft back bend, dive forward, we breathe in to stay, slowly, slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time, walk your feet back in, 
Feel how you feel, standing tall, standing neutral, and relaxed. Thank you very much for joining me today on this workout, and I hope you enjoyed it.